Hello students, welcome to EPG Partshala. I am Amit Kumar from Institute of Hotel Management Rohtak, Haryana. Today we are going to talk on module named Inventory Control and Stock Taking, which is a part of the paper named Hotel Housekeeping. Students, after completing this module, you will be able to take understand the inventory control, its importance and objective of inventory control system in housekeeping department. After that, we can discuss about methods of inventory control and inventory control techniques. Students, now we can also discuss inventory control for linens and uniforms. After that, we are discussing about stock taking, importance of stock taking and the procedure of stock takings. Students, now we are discussing first about the inventory control system in housekeeping department. Firstly, you must know about the inventory. The term inventory means the stocks of purchased operating supplies, equipments and other items held for furnitures in housekeeping operations. The executive housekeeper is responsible for two types of inventories. Number one, recycled inventories. These are for items that have relatively limited useful lives, but are used over and over again in housekeeping operations. Recycled inventories items includes linens, uniforms, most machinery and large piece of equipments and guest loan items, guest loan items such as irons, ironing boards, hair dryers, heating pads, hot water bottles and so on. Students, now we can discuss about non-recycled inventories. These are for items that are used up rapidly during the course of routine housekeeping operations. Items of non-recycled inventories includes most guest amenities, cleaning supplies and smaller cleaning equipment such as brooms, mops, cleaning clothes and so on. There should be an effective purchasing system to consistently maintain the inventory levels set by the executive housekeeper. To maintain the inventory levels, the executive housekeepers need to determine the par level for each inventory items. Inventory control is maintained by every department in hotel to manage its inventory efficiently since uniform, cleaning supplies, equipments and linen are very investments. It is necessary to keep a close control on this very important assets. Now students, we can discuss about the importance of inventory control. The importance of inventory control is it enables housekeeping department to provide better services to its customers. It keeps a smooth flow of housekeeping supplies and aids in continuing operations. It checks and maintains the right stock in department and reduces the risk of loss. It also makes effective use of working capital by avoiding overstocking. It also helps to maintain a check on loss of materials due to carelessness. It facilitates cost accounting activities. It also avoids duplication in ordering of stocks. It also helps housekeeping department for forecasting and budgeting. By meaning of inventory better, housekeeping department can avoid dead stock. It manages storage space very well. Monitoring of use and product evaluation is better achieved. Budgetary control 
is facilitated. Now student, we can discuss about objective of housekeeping inventory control to ensure corrective supply of recycled and non-recycled housekeeping supplies. So the operations should not suffer at any time. Students to avoid both under stock stocking and over stocking of product. It is also maintain investments in working capital at the minimum level that is required according to the operation of the department. It is also minimize the loss through depreciation, pilferages, wastage or demand to design a proper inventory system for the organization to ensure right quantity and right quality of housekeeping supplies at a reasonable prices. It is also determines the value of supplies held in stock. Student, now we can discuss about method of inventory control. The method of used in housekeeping department for inventory control are number one physical inventory. Physical inventory means a periodic actual counting of all the operating supplies, equipments and other items in the storage area. Actual counting is recorded on the basis of checks which can be once a week, a month, depend upon the size of the hotel. Physical counting is done before normal opening time or closing time of housekeeping store and after closing. In large hotels, inventory are taken parts on weekly basis. Inventory process involves at least two person, one from controls department and other from accounts department. One person counts systematically arranged stock and other person records the data on physical inventory form. Second one is perpetual inventory. Perpetual inventory system. Perpetual inventory system means maintaining a continuous record of all purchases and issued items like minibar supplies and rooms non-recycled supplies. It provides a continuous record of stock available on hand at any time it requires considerable amount of staff to maintain the proper system working. It usually used for to maintaining selected items such as minibar, supplies, etc. It is necessary to be tallied to physical inventory form at the end. Students, now we can discuss about inventory control techniques. Inventory control techniques include inventory control. Inventory control is very important for housekeeping department to work efficiently. The major function of inventory control system is help housekeeping department for purchasing, storing, controlling, stocks and forecasting budget. The techniques used in housekeeping department for controlling stocks are number one, set par stock, number two, first in first out and last in first out, third one auditing, fourth one accurate forecasting. Student, firstly we can discuss about how we set par stock. What is par stock now? Par stock is the minimum level of supplies required to meet daily demands to ensure smooth operations. It is the standard quantity of each invented item that must be on hand to support daily routine housekeeping operations. Student, now we are discussing about importance of power stocks. The importance of power stock is correct and sufficient investment of capital. It is also prevent overstocking. It is also helps in busting inventory taking optimum use of space and store. Ensure 
proper supply of linen and uniform at all time. Now student we are discussing about establishing power stock. Power level are determined differently for two types of inventory. Inventory levels for recycled items are measured in terms of a power number. A power number is a multiple of the standard quantity for a particular inventory item that must be on hand to support day to day housekeeping functions. In case of non recycled inventory items, a power number is the range between two figures a minimum inventory quantity and a maximum inventory quantity. Student, now we discuss about power stock for linen. The first task is eff effectively managing linens is to determine the appropriate inventory level for all types of linen used in the hotel. The power number established for linen inventories is the standard stock level needed to accommodate typical housekeeping operations. One par for linen equals the total number of each type of linen that is needed to outfit all the guest rooms one time. This is a number that has recently been revised upward in those hotels that have adopted triple sheeting and extra pillows for each bed. One par of linen is also referred to as a house setup. The executive housekeeper must determine how many par of linens are needed to support efficient operations in housekeeping department. When establishing a par number of linens, the executive housekeeper needs to consider three things. The laundry cycle, the replacements of linen and emergency situations. Special consideration for par level is the second factor to consider when establishing linen par level is the replacement of worn, damaged, lost or stolen linen. Since linen losses are vary from property to property, executive housekeepers will need to determine a reasonable power level for linen replacement based on the property's history. Students, now finally the executive housekeeper must be prepared for any emergency situations. A power failure or equipment damage may shut down a hotel laundry operations and interrupt the continuous movement of linens through the laundry cycle. The executive housekeeper may decide to hold one full power of linens in reserve so that housekeeping operations can continue to run smoothly during an emergency. Students therefore, the hotel's laundry cycle, linen replacements needs and reserves stocks for emergencies. Suggest that a minimum of 5 power of linen should be maintained on an annual basis. Properties that are using an outside commercial laundry service will need to add a 6 power to cover linen in transit. Students, now we are discussing for stock for uniforms, the power stock for uniform. The power stock of uniform is determined on the basis of cloth, material and the job position and the nature of jobs. Four changes are kept for uniform changed daily such as waiter cloth, utility worker, uniforms, etc. More specialized uniform may have a turnover of two or three times only. In a view of cost, the cycle of power stock is as follow. 
one uniform change in the laundry, one change in the uniform room, one change in the housekeeping storeroom, one change in use. Student, now we can discuss second techniques for inventory control that is first in first out and last in last out. First in first out is known as FIFO and last in last is last out is LIFO to control housekeeping inventories. FIFO and LIFO methods are accounting techniques used in managing inventories. A method of stock rotation in, in which the new supplies are shelved behind old supplies so that the old supplies are used first. FIFO stands for first in, first out. FIFO is very oldest inventory items are recorded as sold first but do not necessary means that exact newest physical object that has track and sold. Last in first out is one of the common techniques used in the valuation of inventory on hand at the end of a period and the cost of goods sold during the period. Last in first out method is used differently under periodic inventory system and perpetual inventory system in housekeeping department. Now student we are discussing about auditing technique. Auditing is very important to know the exact stock of supplies in housekeeping store. Sometimes the reports made by property management system is not correct as so regular reconciliation is vital. Auditing is done by an auditor from account section and housekeeping supervisors for smooth operations of housekeeping department. Auditing can be done by physical inventory, spot checking, cycle counting, etc. Student, now we are discussing about next technique that is accurate forecasting. With the help of inventory control technique, executive housekeeper can easily do accurate forecasting for housekeeping supplies, both recycled and non-recycled. For forecasting is usually a short term prediction of level of trade and so is more accurate than a budget that was probably prepared month ago. It is often more realistic what we are likely to do rather than what we hope might happen. Now the second technique that we are discussing about inventory control for linen and uniform. Students since uniform and linen are heavy investments, it is necessary to keep a close control on this very important asset. Effective control is possible through control on misuses, shortage and mix ups. Proper storage, regular stock taking, spot checks, proper supervision to prevent damage to linen and uniform the following tips need to keep in mind. Check the faulty linen shoots, cards baskets, washers, etc. which might tear linen and uniforms. The loss of small items of linen can be avoided by keeping mesh bags at strategic points for passing employees. Put restrictions on the misuse of linen by employees by inspecting employee locker rooms or finding them for misuse of uniform. Laundry should be careful not to put excessive amount of bleach powder. Linen should be exchanged strictly on a one to one basis. Damp white linen or uniform should not lie on con concrete or iron. Concrete stains are almost impossible to remove while iron rust cause holes after 
washing. Employees must not wipe split food, medicines or chemicals with linen. They should use dusters especially provided for this purpose. Hydro extractor on high speed operations could tear fabrics. Laundry tumblers should be checked regularly for pins, paper clips, etc. that could prick holes into the fabric. Proper pressure and heat must be kept on all iron as it could cause burn stains. Student, now we can discuss about stock taking. Stock taking is the counting of on hand inventory. This means identifying every item on hand counting. It is and summarizing these quantity by items. There may be also be a verification step where the count results are compared to the inventory unit counts in departmental property management system. Stock taking is a common requirement of a periodic inventory system and may also be required as part of departmental annual audit. Discrepancy between housekeeping manual stock count and electronic count property management system allows to pick up on a range of issues and put processes into place to ensure better stock control and management. This will lead to increased profit in the future. Student, now we can discuss about importance of stock taking. Stock taking highlights stock control issue and area where a department needs to improve or in order to be even more profitable. The importance of stock taking is it helps housekeeping executive to find out any thefts in the department. A regular stock taking will also highlight problems with damaged stock, unprocessed or missing orders and poor stock control practices. Stock taking will highlight any shortage department were not aware of and will prompt to order more next time. Stock taking acts to improve areas of weakness and loss. Methods and principle involved in stock taking are physical counting is done after every three months and is also known as quarterly inventory. All items are segregated and grouped including discards. Counting of items in circulation and in store is separately done and added together. Discards and stamped condiments and kept aside. Counted total should tally with the last inventory figures plus issues received after that. Inventory must be conducted in the presence of housekeeper, account, clerk and the auditor from accounts department. Stock taking is conducted on three separate days, each for uniforms, room linen and restaurant linen. Procedure for stock taking. Students, now we are discussing about how the stock taking will be carried out. Firstly, identifying all locations of linen. These locations will be beds in the guest room, floor linen, pantries, end of shoots, receiving soil linen from floors at the laundry stock, linen in the laundry, in wash, in hamper, at the presses, in storage shelves and in trolleys laden and with laundered linen ready for delivery to the linen room. 
linen rooms, linen stores. Linen store taking is done at the end of morning shift when guest room have been made for the day. All floor linens rooms are sealed, all shoots are sealed. Laundry delivery card are frozen for dispatch. Linen room is sealed, linen store is sealed. The store ticking team consisting of the auditor from accounts, ledger accounts, linen supervisor and the housekeeper will start physical count of each location. They will complete an inventory count sheet rooms on each floor. A similar counting exercise is done for the restaurants. Restaurant stock taking is for performed after 3 pm when the restaurants closed after lunch. A 24 hour restaurant like the coffee shop may take its inventory after 12 midnight when the traffic is too slow. The allocations of restaurant linens are tabletops, side station, shelves for fresh linen, soil linen, hampers, on tray. He will transcribe the information on to the master inventory count sheet for FNB department. The auditor transcribes all information on to the inventory control chart for rooms. The auditor transcribes all the information into the inventory control chart that is for FNB. The statements are further consolidated by the auditor and the financial controller into a master inventory sheet. The master inventory sheet will be shown to the journal manager for his comments and signed off before it is shown to the owner. Students, now let us we summarize the module. This chapter describe importance and objective of the housekeeping inventory control. Inventory control is a technique of maintaining and checking the stock in housekeeping department. Stock control involves purchasing, requisitions, receiving, storing, issuing to various section of housekeeping department. The inventory control system is maintained by every department to manage its inventory efficiently. Students inventory control can be managed by maintaining past stock, stock taking and accurate forecasting. Students in the last two module we discussed that stock taking is an important subroutine in inventory control. Establishing power level is crucial to budgeting for housekeeping expenses. Calculation of power levels for both recycled and non-recycled inventories has been explained. Methods and procedures of stock taking also we have already discussed in detail. Thank you.